Hey, welcome back to the channel. Got a little something for you on the bench. We're looking at my quadcopter. We're looking at some capacitors. We're going to talk about capacitance. This is a quick tip video on capacitance, how to measure the capacitance, what to look for, and why Props Off is saying don't put this in your quadcopter. Okay, so that's what this episode's about. Uh, I appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button before we get started, just to make sure you're subscribed to my channel. It really helps me out because I go to manufacturers and I say, hey, you know, I want to look at prototype equipment before you send it out to the market. I want to check it to see if it's any good. Um, to have that clout, they tell me, ah, I want to see 10,000 subscribers before we can send you anything. So you can help me help you. So I appreciate it very much. So let's get started. All right, so over here at the bench, we're just going to look at a couple of capacitors. I'm going to explain polarity of the capacitor, the capacitance, what it means, some recommendations I have, and how to measure your quadcopter and where you might be, and some of my recommendations of why. I already have a video on my channel as far as like what does a capacitor do for video. So let's look at that real quick just in case that's why you're here. I'm not going to go through that in this video because I've already done it. So let's jump over here to YouTube and I'll show you where that is. All right, so over here in uh, in my YouTube channel, you see this one right here? Low ESR capacitor. What does a low ESR capacitor do for your FPV video? That's a, even though it's a little bit old, it's very relevant. I actually take the capacitor out and put it in and I show you flight video. It was quite, quite a video to film. Um, so if you're curious, what does this do for your video? Uh, that would be the video that you need to see. Okay, um, and then obviously I have other videos on my channel as far as how to clean your video up. So if you go to my playlist here, and then you'll go to uh, my video list for the, here's my playlist. So this is the video here. The, this is the way I wire everything up. Best FPV video I've ever had. That video... Uh, really cleans. I mean, it, analog is, is as clean as it'll get. It just doesn't get any better. I've tried. I spent many months, uh, and these are all kind of different things that I went through. Uh, so in case you're interested in cleaning up your video more than what does a capacitor do to your video, you might want to look at that one. So let's jump back over here to the bench, and we'll just kind of go through real quick. So on a capacitor, you have a negative and a positive. So when you connect this to a power source, you want to make sure that you have the correct polarity. There's a few indications of what is the uh, polarity of the capacitor. So you have a negative side and then a positive side. Some capacitors like this one has a negative strip with negative symbols in it. So that is the ground side. Um, some of them you know, it's different colors, you know, maybe it's gray or whatever. And then there's some confusing ones out there that like to put a little paint tab on the edge. So that might be green, it might be blue, it might even be red. And it's frustrating when it's red because red means hot on the DC circuit, right? <laughs> so that indicates the ground. So if you get the little paint edge, regardless of the color, um, that is your ground side. So you want to make sure that you connect your capacitor on your quadcopter in the correct polarity. Now when we're measuring it, um, so in this case I have, this is a thousand microfarad capacitor. So we'll put our test leads on the uh, capacitor and we will look at what is the capacitance of this dude. So what is that? One, 1,080. So this, this is a 1,080 uh, capacitance, even though it's marked for 1,000. I don't recommend anyone putting a 1,000 capacitor on a 5-inch build. I just don't, especially anything smaller than a 5-inch build. A 1,000 microfarad capacitor is is way overkill. And in my opinion, when you put a 1,000 microfarad capacitor, imagine that the uh, all of the current can go right to that. I mean, it's it charges up immediately as soon as you connect your battery. And in this case, because of the 1,000 microfarad capacitor plus the capacitance on the quadcopter, I mean, that, that is a lot of load instantaneously. So what happens is when you go to put your XT60 together, um, you get an arc between your 
lipo and your xt60 on your quad it's destroying both of them it's melting it's it's an arc so when you plug it in and it goes okay that there there's no reason for that that doesn't make any sense why you'd build something that that does that um honestly when you're talking about 4s we're talking about four to six hundred microfarad capacitance that four to six hundred is a good number for a 4s build um Maybe 600 to 800 is, is a good range to be in for a 6S build. So I, I don't recommend putting a 1,000 in anything. Um, so how, how do we know that? So let's go ahead and grab this build. We'll grab our meter here. And I'm going to go ahead and just put my leads so you can see here. I guess I, I should have showed you that. So right here, that's capa that's the anode and cathode of a capacitor. Okay, that's the symbol for a capacitance. So that's what we want on our meter. If your meter doesn't have that symbol, it probably can't uh, measure capacitance. So we're just going to drop this in on our quadcopter here and see what does our quadcopter have, okay? Before we add a capacitor, let's see what it's got. I don't run a capacitor on my 5-inch race quads because I run a 30 by 30 T-Motor uh, F55 Amp Pro 2 ESC. That ESC is built. I mean, it's that it's a pretty bulletproof ESC. I've got it in a lot of stuff. Uh, so you can see here 351 capacitance. Um, I don't have any issues with video because I run a Rush uh, Ultimate. Uh, VTX which has filtration built in it also has a heat sink which dissipates some of that heat buildup it's just a really good VTX I don't on my race quad I don't I don't do anything I run a ground strap so the redundant ground that you may be familiar, familiar with on my channel I do run a redundant ground from the camera uh, to the lipo lead and everything so that is redundant but as far as running a capacitor on this I have no need because I'm really in that 400 microfarad capacitance already. But let's say I wanted to uh, clean up my video a little bit or, or I'm having, you know, some, some little funny little things that are happening in my video. Like my OSD might have some indicators that I need to add a capacitor. Like I said, that video before shows, I showed you uh, where to find it. That I show you what it looks like when you take the capacitor out and put it in of what it does to your video. So go ch check that out. But in this case, I would only want to add a small amount. So let's say, let's say, you know, about the smallest capacitor to even worry about. Maybe a 330. I'd probably go with a, the, uh, a 330 or maybe even, um, I don't have a two, I do have a 250. So maybe a 220 microfarad capacitor, 35 volt. Uh, 25 volt is good for 3S. Uh, 35 volt is good for 4S and 50 volt for, for 6S. Why is that? Well, imagine that your max uh, amp, you know, your max voltage uh, going into the capacitor. That's, that's your maximum voltage. And when you're, when you're arcing um, or you're, plugging in or usually it's when you're plugging or unplugging your quad is when there's a, a spike you want that capacitor to be able to handle that spike a lot of times people will be flying and, and the the capacitor leg so they'll look inside there and, and the le one of the legs it has a little ball on it and it's not touching anymore it's it's basically arced like a fuse and popped that's exactly what happened. It turned into a fuse. The leg of the capacitor turned into a fuse and it popped because the capacitance and the capacitance and the uh, of, of the quadcopter, the, the lipo going to it, it just wasn't rated enough for that. So you just basically made yourself a fuse and it popped. Uh, you'll see that it like melts a little bit and balls up on the end. That's probably why too small of a capacitor. Uh, voltage wise but not capacitance this thing is this thing's a water tower there's no reason to put this in your quad i mean you can argue in comments all you want as long as you got you know reasonable proof but i tell you that doesn't make any sense and you're you're basically ruining your xt60 so on this quad i would probably go to 220 microfarad 35 volt 
Um, but honestly, I don't I don't feel the need to go any further than what it already has. 351 on this one. Um, so like a bigger build, we 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 want to have a little bit more capacitance on a 5s quad. So this is 5s. So we want to have just a little bit more. Let's see if I can get this out here where you can see it. Can you see that? Drag that over here. So 830. 830 microfarad capacitance on a 5S build. Perfect. If I if I were to measure a quadcopter in the field and they were they were telling me. You know, or I'm standing there listening to them when they plug it in and I can hear, you know, you, you know that the, they probably got 15 to 1700 uh, capacitance. It's just, it's just arcing out. Um, so let me know in comments if you have any questions. Uh, last, last but not least, I guess like this one's kind of neat because this is a 100 microfarad capacitor and it's, uh, I think it's rated for 16 volts. So I use these between the camera, power, and ground. So if I'm having some, some just some noise in the camera, or I'm having a little bit of my OSD's not really bold and showing up properly, sometimes that cures it. So a little capacitance. Uh, so when you goose the throttle, you you're not getting a little brownout issue or something. Usually that'll clean up some lines too. So just a little quick tip on how to measure the capacitor capacitance of the quad. How to use that that function on the uh, multimeter and uh, yeah if you have any questions let me know in comments I appreciate you stopping by and checking out my channel and subscribing enjoy the breeze